In this video, we're going to learn how to create constructors in a subclass using the keyword super. And so when creating a constructor method in a derived class or subclass, it's a good idea to call the base class or super class constructor first by using the method super. So the reason you should do that is because when you're inheriting a lot of fields that come from the super class, you want to make sure that those fields are also initialized. And the best way to do that is to call the constructor of the super class. So the method call to super will do just that. It'll find a constructor in the base class and it'll call it before it continues with the rest of the code in that constructor. And super must be the first statement in the constructor method, otherwise you'll get a compiler error. So let's create some constructors. Previously we created a class called person that has two fields, name and age, and some getter setter methods and we created a subclass of person called student which extends person and inherits all the get and set name and age methods and it also adds a student ID and a get and set method for that student ID field as well and we haven't created any constructors so let's first start by creating a constructor in the person class and we're gonna do both types of constructors let's start with the default or no argument constructor that looks like this public person and we take the field name and assign it to some initial value, let's we'll just say unknown, unknown name, and age to zero. And if we had a parameterized constructor, we could do the same thing by saying public person string name, and let's say it takes the int age as well. And we could say this dot name, the field the name of the calling object is assigned to the parameter name and this dot age is assigned to the parameter age. So here are our two constructors for the person class. And in student you should also create a constructor as well. It looks like this. Let's start with the default one. Public student. And you might think that you just need to say student ID and initialize it to zero. And you're partially correct because you are initializing all the fields that you see, but don't forget that because student extends person, you need to also initialize all the fields that you get from person as well. And to do that, we could simply say super, which is going to call the person constructor with empty parentheses. So it's going to go down to this class, find the empty parentheses constructor, set name to unknown and age to zero. And to show that this is going to work, we can go to demo. We can create a brand new student. Just erase everything. Here's a student object, and we're just going to print out the default values without setting anything. And you can see that it picked up the name as unknown name. It picked up the age as zero, and the student ID is zero. So that seems to be working. And similarly, we can create a constructor for student public student that takes all three fields, meaning the string name, the int age, and also the int student ID. Don't forget about name and age as well. And we can say super, and in the same order that this person constructor is taking name and age, we can pass the name and age that we're getting from the student constructor, name, comma, age, and that will send them to the person class and call that constructor set initializing these two fields and then after that call the super we could say this dot student id assign that to student id and that is how you create a constructor in a subclass and let's test this out too let's just add some data right here name is bob age 23 and student id is whatever run the program and you can see it picked up all the information and initialized it all within the constructor.